Hadi kal. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another YouTube video. It looks like the mind games have begun from Devin Larratt in respect to his match, which, uh, oh, sorry, not his match, but his fight up against Hafthor Bjornsson, aka Thor, the mountain, whatever you want to call him, uh, it's taking place in September. The one thing that Devin Larratt has in absolute spades uh, is in a mind games and an ability to get into the head of his opponent. We've seen it time and time again when it comes to the arm wrestling arena and I think we are about to see it unfold in a very rapid sense uh, in respect to this fight. Now, Devin Larratt, uh, let me let me press play for it uh, on his video in a moment. Uh, this is just the snippet of his most recent video that dropped this morning for me. Um, it's just right at the end. It's a juicy bit, but I love it and I'm really looking forward to seeing how Half thought Bjornsson even responds. Is he gonna even try to match Devin? Is he gonna trash talk? I don't know. I don't think he has. I think that when it comes to this fight, um, by the time the bell rings, Devin is gonna be so far inside the mind of Thor that uh, that in itself may be the reason why the match goes his way or the fight goes his way. Anyway, let's have a look now at Devin's trash talk. And that tortoise and the hare story it's all fantasy, guys. It's all fantasy. The tortoise boxed for a year and a half, and guess what? Still a tortoise. The hare woke up, got the call, and flashed him, okay? Don't forget that. We're a different species, and everybody knows that arm wrestlers are way more combative and strong man. What do you guys do? Pick stuff up? I'm gonna crush you, Thor. There we have it, Devin Larratt, using the analogy of the tortoise and the hare and, and Half Thor as that tortoise that has been plodding, plodding along uh, for 18 months boxing. And Devin Larratt, the hare himself, wakes up and flashes him. Uh, interesting stuff there if we read into what Devin's thinking. Um, his approach may be, or his strategy may be when it comes to this fight. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing Devin running rings. I'm seeing Devin come in and out with a lot more speed than the big, clumbersome kind of heavy feet approach of Hafthor Bjornsson. Undoubtedly, Hafthor Bjornsson has some power, but Devin Larratt, much lighter on his feet relative to Hafthor and uh, looking like he's going to go that angle. Also touching there on just the combative nature of arm wrestling relative to Strongman. I don't know that uh, Hafthor has a combat side to him. This is the first time he's gone down that path. He's never been a fighter. He's been a Strongman. As far, uh, as far as I'm aware, never been involved in any sort of fight sport. Devin Larratt obviously living and breathing it as part of the Special Forces. And even within arm wrestling itself, much more combative. But anyway, I love where it's going. I think we're going to get more and more of this as the weeks unfold. 18th of September will be here before you know it. And Devin Larratt will be representing the sport of arm wrestling very well. And uh, I can't wait to watch the trash talk for me from Devin, one of the highlights, I think, of this whole campaign. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. Is he inside the mind of Thor already? Are we expecting a response from Thor? Are we going to get any degree of effort back in the mind games, or is Thor just going to sit back and expect to use his boxing and to do all the talking? Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you're well. Leave us a like, a comment, a share, a subscribe, all those sorts of good things, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, that's a bitch!